my friends, my name is Mark Saiz. I'm CEO of Colegio, a company that is specialized on blockchain development. Today we're going to show how to evolve from your Hyperledger Fabric development environment to a production mode using your cloud services. We will test our chain code at one development machine and then we'll migrate it to a production network using three cloud VMs. At this video, we will use the open source GoLedger CC Tools Fabric library and also GoFabric Orchestrator for the production environment. Right now, we are accessing the GoLedger CC Tools directory. Uh, if you want to know more about development using GoLedger CC Tools at development mode, please watch, watch uh, some of our other videos that we have posted on GoLedger YouTube channel. And what we are going to do right now is to create a package using this script, this generator, that creates a package for deploying uh, the uh, Hyperledger Fabric Network at production mode. The package has just been created. I can see it right now. It's the library-cc.tar.gz. Uh, and before we deploy the Hyperledger Fabric Network, we are going to use, we are learning a little bit how to use our GoFabric orchestrator right here. And we need to set up some VMs using our cloud services. I'm going to use HWS EC2s. Uh, and I'm going to deploy three Ubuntu VMs right here. Uh, we, we are, I had, already have it set up. So whenever it finishes, I'm going to start the deployment of the, of the Hyperledger Fabric Network. Okay, the VM has just been created, and what I'm going to do right now is to install the Docker services so uh, the VMs will be allowed to receive the, the, the containers, Hyperledger Fabric containers, and also our chain code and stuff. And we are going to use a feature of GoFabric, Fabric that's called Setup Machines. Uh, basically, I give the, the proper credentials, uh, the, the pen file and the, the, the username. It's a Ubuntu machine, so the, the full username is Ubuntu. And I'm going to uh, write right here, set up the, all the, the, the IPs that they are just being uh, deployed by the, the HWS cloud service. Okay, so I'm going to copy and paste them at this moment. So and click starts and the the GoFabric orchestrator is going to uh, deploy all the necessary systems to the docker to start and be available by so it will be available to use the Hyperledger Fabric artifacts and our network blockchain network okay the VMs has just been set up and now I'm going to start setting up the, the deployment of the Hyperledger Fabric uh, blockchain network here at this feature deploy and we are going to deploy a uh, tree org org1 org2 and org3 and uh, i need to set up some information right now about the the the, the vm that will be we receive the ca they are the, the certification authority and also the the vms that are going to receive the peer the order and uh, and and the, the, the API, uh, I'm going to deploy all of the, all of uh, this this organization in only one VM, so to make it easier. But of course, we can uh, make different uh, different uh, types of uh, of uh, deployment right here. And now, let's do the same with the org two. Okay, of course, deploy here. I go. I need to save the the user and password of the of each CA. So I, I need whenever I need to change something uh, about this this uh, this network, it's important for for me to to know the user and password of the CA. And okay, and now I am at the at the last at the last org org three. Okay. Here, perfect, and and that's it. And now I'm going to to the next uh, to the next to the next screen 
to, to make the, the, the final deployment. At the next screen, we find some, uh, we need to, to set up all the net, network definitions I have right here. And we're going to deploy our chain code that we have been developing the, the other videos. And we need to select this, this, uh, this item here, that's chain code file. And I need to set up the, the chain code name. Let's call it the library CC. Let's call it library, library channel. The chain code name needs to be the same uh, the, of the, 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 the package that we be, just created. It's library CC and network name is the name that's going to appear on, on the, the left menu. Let's call it library. Okay. And now I need to upload the, the, the package I have just created with the script generate tar. I'm going to do it right now. Let, let's do, let's create an, uh, an endorsing policy right here. Let's say uh, only uh, org2 and org3. Let's make it happen in a formal way. That is going to ask for endorsing policy of, uh, of either org1 or uh, org2 or org3 to as an uh, as this is endorsing policy i can see the the endorsing policy uh, uh, function here and that's it let's just click start and right now the go fabric orchestrator is going to deploy all the artifacts on the on every every vm so it's going to be available at the end it's going to deploy a new hyperledger fabric network and an api and another uh, and web uh, and web app so we can test it whenever it finishes okay the network the hyperledger fabric network has just been deployed i can see it right now if i want to access each apis i can do it uh, easily by clicking uh, the the ips uh, the address on the on the uh, on the dashboard of GoFabric, and I can I can test some some endpoints right here. But let's do the the following. Let's use instead of the APIs. Let's use the web apps that we that we have deployed as well. Each one that is uh, linked to to each uh, each API of each org, and one is linked that uh, it's connected at org one and the other at org two and the the last one at org three and let's do this and right now we do have our chain code with all the assets that are available right here so we can test let's create uh, just to make a simple test in this uh, in this hyperledger fabric network let's create uh, a new person let's say and right here i'm going to use this this valid cpf it's the brazilian id and let's call this person john smith date of birth let's say it's april the the, the 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 20th of 2000 that sounds height 1.7 and okay now the the transaction has just uh, been the committed successfully i can list right now all the other person that's only one people one person right here and we can we can check if we go to our two and check the this person uh, at the at org two I, uh, as, a, as as it is a blockchain i will receive the the same information let's change it a little bit so that let's call the update transaction and let's say the person it's not 1.7 it's 1.8 uh, meters high and okay and let's go to org tree and let's see how it goes the person in the right now it's 1.8 it's the the last state of of the, the, this person let's change again let's say uh, the, the date of birth it's not it's not uh, 2000 it's 2001 and we we up, upgrade the, this information and after that we can access the the history the ledger history so we can see all the all the changes all the creation and the changes for, from the, uh, this asset and also the the msp that just signed the 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 the, the asset the, the transaction and the timestamp of the transaction that we can check it right here 
Okay, that's it for today. I hope you all liked the, the video and for those who liked it, please consider subscribing.